Even right, right? They were starting to lose grasp of this round, and then Xperro, he heard Garon's footsteps. That's why you saw him jump and try to get pocket himself in the corner, <laughs> so he can... <laughs> a little bit off guard. <laughs> no. <laughs> the corner put some damage down here on the NDG with the full flash connect. Ban! Ban it just to get the ball! How is he still alive? How did he win that? Was that a play you guys doing? <laughs> Little time remaining. Sparrow still left. trying to play this one out as quiet as he possibly can. Next year with a setup. And he get the win. Is it smokes? Yep. Going out. One there smoke sent. The tap, the hold, a blast pack being sent forward. He doesn't have to worry that he actually didn't clear him off. He thinks that he cleared him off! It didn't happen! It's Sparrow! The absolute chat just stays glued to it! Gets the kill on the back end, and RRQ are up seven to five. Man, imagine the mental exhaustion from both. Maybe waiting for, or just letting Paper X cook for the moment, but since they have, to, some of their players have to go for the half shields, that outlaw, absolutely terrifying. Texture's already here at the front lines, and the damage, the aim, the lethality, absolutely felt. Forsaken pushing in, picks up so many weapons. This man is an absolute inspector gadget. Heron. Oh, He's waiting for his teammate, though. He's waiting for something. Who has the wingman? Oh, no, the stun. The way he actually loses is he does not care on. Two headshots. Holds it off even through the pressure of utility chasing him down to the ends of the earth. Locked down, showstopper, Viper's Pit. X Grid pushing in. Oh my god. Are we He's so oh. close too. They're not gonna know about this. That's the thing. Yikes, X Grid, what a mad lad. And he's not done! No! That was a wall bang headshot. X Grid, he's not done! He's got the 3K already! He keeps re-peeking, and they keep giving him the opportunity Stop to it. stay. We think it down, Xperro making his presence known here in mid now, trying to break things open. Back at screens, nearly gets himself a third elimination. Aaron managing to stay alive. Gotta start running. Cutting through. Meteor nearing this relay to the rest of the squad. Just... Coming in here from Estrella. Oh, right on top. Spike planted. Can they even try to get away from this position? I don't think they can. I think they have to play right up close. He doesn't confirm the kill, but there we go. Will manage to make it happen. That could have been catastrophic otherwise. Flip shutter now. The 1v3 finds the first. Gets the headshot. The 1v1 versus Kara. Oh, Seven bullets. Can he get it? Yes, he can! Flip shutter goes absolutely massive! But X oh man, Xperro is heroics with that lurk. You said it right, right? They were starting to lose grasp of this round, and then Xperro, he heard Garon's footsteps. That's why you saw him jump and try to get pocket himself in the corner, <laughs> so he can... <laughs> Shouldn't the B side take it, but... Team Secret, I thought they were gonna push B like 10 seconds ago, but they're using a lot of time. To be fair, they don't really have the exact contact of where they want Talon to be on. Jesse Bash only has that tripwire keeping him alive for the well, moment. Well, Lenny able to find one before getting taken down to Borkham. Catching Cruz. Just outside of Nasty. Oh, time, 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 time. Interrupts it, yeah. Time is dwindling. Okay, now gonna be overdriving here as they take that spike over to back pillar. Playing close to fast lane, coming through, just trying to rush forward, get ahead of that one man. Behind Borkham, coming swinging around the corner, put some damage down here on the NDG flash. with a full flash, connect, ban! Ban it just to get the ball! How is he still alive? How did he win that? Instant replay, please. Absolutely unbelievable. Drop it out for us, please. Oh my goodness. I thought it was Governor, you know, that was gonna start things off. Especially when they were entering that site. But in hindsight, it was truly bad. So he wasn't. Was that a play you guys doing? You know, on bonus round, some players will just play on the back of that board. Thrash activated quickly. Not sure if it heard where the tripwire was, but Monyet is very much controlling this back angle for now. Devai also leading in, or rather defending the gap. So it's a pretty clean take here from Paper Rex. They just had to use middle utility, but it works solely in their favor. 
Still, though, that fight across the pillars. As soon as Device stays back. Can he get his ace? Oh, yeah, he can. There it is. He was the sword, he was the shield, he was the healer. All of that is actually just straight up negated because of Davai's barrier orb. Put up, Meteor can't really do anything against it. He might have the tiny gap, and even if it... They can get eyes through the drone in onto Borkum. Hunter's Fury from Lenny might be able to flush him out, but even still, finding him in this mess is going to prove to be difficult. Decides to hold on to the bite. Spots one. Turn around the swing out. Coming here already so low that okay. Working against that. Porco comes up with three. Look for the fourth, and he's got it. I mean, they cook in the pit, right? The decay. This really of star players from previous teams. As we see, that a little shaky for Munchkin, but he will still get out. Getting that information for his teammates as well with a zero point. And at the end of the day, I mean, not much area lost. Gen.G holding back on A-side as they've already taken garage control. This map has been cut in half. The turrets watching mid, they know that this is just waiting to be a hit from Team Secret. I, I'm going to forgive Munchkin a little. I don't expect the wide swing there either, especially with the operator of play. Oh, and the snake bites as well. All these mollies coming up from Gen.G. It's just keeping oh. them tied up even further as he just waltz through the top of the screen on for the ace for Munchkin, the IGL, and he will get it. Riles up the Korean crowd, cheering for Gen G. Oh, he's gonna back off. This dog, Morgan is in such a bad spot, but he has to just try to deal, right? That's gonna be the one, and Jesse Bash, what a shot! Immediately uses the Seekers. Bit of that information. No need to overheat, as it is not anything or any advantage taken, garnered by Team Secret. Just the trades for the most part, two versus two. Seeker trapped at the back of their own spawn. Now it spots it, so he knows it's there. But look at Bash! He's coming oh, to the corner! So They're not smart. even knowing about this! And the wall, the smoke, the smartness, the Bash! The plays into that point. <laughs> I love it. I love it, Jesse. That's so good. That's that veteran presence you're looking for. Two heroes here. Slips goes back and forth between that. Phantom in the Vandal, trying to determine what he wants. Let's land on the Vandal in the end here, we see. But otherwise, two sheriffs and a stinger to accompany. Why is such a great initiator player? What a Swiss Army Knife initiator uh, roles that he's been able to do, right? Been around much since the very beginning here. As there's the chase in an Elmi War. Great peek out. Managing a fine three. Looks for a fourth. Can't make it happen. But good God, what is it with the RQ right now? It's thrifties on this map. Not having all of these good, better weapons or these better buys. And they're just, they're just honed in. Look at that. I mean, could he have, yeah. Disgusting. Could he have done better on the battle? Operator in hand. Gonna duel Yay. I'm sure that, that was an intentional pun, but <laughs> relay bolt not coming through. There's a slide forward. Izu again, though. Trying to hold them back. Yet again. Dimensional drift online, spotting out Scary, but Scary, he's bound Rossi. Takes him down. We're into a 3v3. The push out. Gets the headshot. Izu fighting for on for the ace. Can he get it? Yes, he can. A bit of a rough start, but in a rock. Solid finish here in the first half as Izu will find the first ace of VCT Pacific 2024. Guy has been an absolute monster in the VCJ. He has been tearing it up for years. Now given the opportunity on tier one, and you can see why. Brilliant stuff. Gets the dimensional drift, instantly pops oh. it. Scary's looking everywhere, trying to find him. The pop flash through the wall.